Jennifer, who works at, at the agency, and the first thing I said was, what? <laughs> Weekly, you know, shooting, you know, every week, and um, it was, the first thing was like, this is going to be really, really challenging, but um, thinking about it more, I was like, you know, we were discussing it, and we were just thought, this is going to be a lot of fun if we, if we can get it to work. Um, but also one thing that we really wanted to make sure is that we could still tell a good story, you know, um, and just focus on giving the fans first something really great to watch and fun to watch, and that's something that we really wanted to focus on. Getting the fans involved, that's something that was really important to us, the fans first, and so I think that's a really big reason why we thought that it was a great idea. Granted, it caused a lot of stress and challenges for us, but over in the end, you know, I think we all had a lot of fun doing it and looking back. Um, Great. Yeah, Intertrend did a really good job in uh, bringing up this fan interaction um, idea and this you, know, you decide what happens kind of story because I've heard of projects where people get to choose like from a list what happens, but this one is, you know, you could write whatever you want. And um, that is a very ambitious uh, goal, but I think it really worked out for the best because the fans feel like they, they were a part of the entire journey. They kind of feel like a little bit of ownership to it too. And um, for us, it was challenging because, you know, six weeks of just waiting for the fans to say to, to come up with something, and then like we go do it. There's a lot of teamwork, um, and it's really exciting to see it happen um, and come out the way it did. I was really excited when I heard about the project. Um, like Wes, Wes was saying, choose your adventure stories. That we've seen a lot of those sometimes on YouTube, but it, it's never shot really well, and the story is never told really. Like, as, as as we've told them as a drama, it's usually just like, oh, does he go left? Does he go right? Does he open the red door, the blue door? So I think the project came together very well. And also, we've, we've had stories, in, or we've made pro uh, shorts in the past where um, people are like, oh, I couldn't do it this way, or, or this was really good. But this one was like literally up to the fans, so. Um, it's on you guys. It's on, it's on the viewers to decide, so it's kind of nice to have um, that responsibility, like a little bit, you know, shared with the fans. Actually, that um, it's kind of related to the next question I was going to ask, because um, you know there are there are you know some conspiracy theories out there that the whole series was all pre-shot all at once. So I guess that answers the question. Uh, exposed. Exposed. We weren't supposed to say anything. Uh, but uh, but that wasn't the case, right? It was it was written, shot, and edited on a weekly basis. Yeah, we we saw comments like in the we read the comments, guys. Okay. And, um, <laughs> so there there were a lot that were saying, oh, I bet they just shot it all, and now they're, they're just pretending. It's like I wish that were the case. <laughs> it would have caused a lot a uh, lot less stress. But no, it was it really was uh, us going out every week, release editing in a day, uh, seeing the comments come in, and then saying, okay, we have to adjust this and that, let's figure it out, and then going out again a week later. Yeah, there are certain locations where we would return to in the story, and, you know, if we had known ahead of time that we'd be shooting there, we would have just shot, like, all the scenes in that one location done. Don't have to go back there, but uh, because we weren't the ones deciding that, sometimes we would find ourselves, like, a week later or two weeks later in the same location that we were at, setting up the same shot, trying to, like, match all the lighting, um, so it really was not done that much. Um, it was good though. But what was it like working with Victor and Jan and the rest of the cast if you hadn't worked together before? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Victor and uh, us, we have worked together before. We did a, we shot like a little skit on For Wong Fu February earlier this year. Extreme. Yeah, although it came out after. <laughs> Anyways, but um, but even before that, we've known Victor. Even, yeah, even before. I mean, I, I, I've known Victor since like his like college dancing days. I, I was Quite already true, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and like you know, they've they've come out to support our events before and everything. Um, but this was definitely our first time working with Jen. I, I love her uh, blogs, though. I follow all the makeup stories. <laughs> <laughs> I've, only, I've only seen her when I, you know, need the fake eyelashes on. Yeah, once you know, I could do a tutorial. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was actually our first time meeting Jen um, for this project. Um, so it was, it, was a, it was a nice nice to finally meet her. It was a pleasure uh, to work with you from head to toe. Hey, uh, just uh, I just want to ask you guys what was like a memorable moment for you guys uh, during the series. And for this is a question for all of you guys. One memorable moment. 
<laughs> no one remembers to remember that. There's just so many. Uh, for me, I would say uh, episode four was uh, the most memorable one for me to shoot. It was when we were shooting, um, it was first when we ran into the doors of the cafe. And then uh, we went on that romantic lookout point where the montage happened. And, uh, which is really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, we had a lot of good, warm, picturesque memories there. That was really a lot of fun. But actually, one of the things I really liked is um, before, like on the first day that we all met, and on the final day when we had wrapped up, we went karaoke. <laughs> and it was a really great memory for me because it's like, so everybody <laughs> And uh, it was really nice because, uh, you know, Jen and I, this was our first time acting. But uh, when we got to work with them, it's like, wow, these guys are professionals. <laughs> they know what they're doing. And, uh, it was just really cool to see them work. And they're cool people. Yeah. Hey, yeah. How do you feel about that, Keon? I don't feel good about that at all. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I think um, the, whole, the whole shoot was pretty normal for me. I think to get that call from Phil, um, saying that I'll be playing a supporting. Don't call me personally. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 He called me on Twitter. Well, we had. No, <laughs> 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 well, I just. Um, well, I got a call and he was just saying to me like, "You'll be playing a supporting role," and I'll be like, "Oh, who am I supporting?" And he's like, "He'll be an Asian lead," and I'll be like, "Yes, that's something that I'm really wanted to do because everything that I go out for is like I'm I'm like the sidekick of." Some, some being lead, but I, w I, I always wanted to do something that was all Asian American, and so right away I was like really excited. And so, and to work with these guys who who I didn't even know they'd never acted, um, and I think they've done like a terrific job to be honest with you, and I think they've grown so much throughout the episodes. So you're basically saying I changed your life with one phone call. I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You got any, are someone recording this so I can hold it too? <laughs> <laughs> I met with you personally, didn't I? Or something, or something. I, I, I didn't know you guys were directing until after I said yes, I was good. That's true. <laughs> 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 well, I didn't have, oh, you know why? Because you're just too cool. I didn't have your phone number. Remember that one time when I asked and you like, you just punched me in the face and just, yeah. just wanted to go away? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I think I was there for that. <laughs> well, I think one of my favorite moments was uh, getting back on topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was Jen when you went after your interview scene? You did the little dance in in the in the hallway. You want to do a first again there? I think people want to see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. You guys don't know is uh, one of the takes I actually fell for real. Like I know I was supposed to fall, but. I, I landed on my butt. Yeah, that was really the one we were like, we were like, that's the one, that's so good. I did. How did you do that? That was so natural. And then we put the cushion under her. You yeah. guys yeah. did yeah. Yeah. dancing crazy like that, and then slipping on accident for real in foreign fields. Yes. I should get an award. <laughs> I think, I think all the time. Well, all the, all the times that we got to see them like act kind of goofy, because you know it's, it's like a, like this drama that they have to be all serious. So, so basically, any, so I, for me, the the door, them running into the door. Actually, when we were practicing that, that was I wish I wish we had behind the scenes for that. We didn't have a camera, but like them running into the door like 50 times, yeah. you know, saying, "No, you guys gotta loosen your neck up a little bit, or you gotta gotta <laughs> breathe a little bit more." And they just running into that door. They actually got it the first time. We just wanted to see how many times. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, for me, just the whole uh, the the time and space that we traversed through this project is is really um, amazing to me. Like we started in New York, and it, we had some. The first day it was very cold, actually, and um, I think Victor knows about that. Oh my gosh. We were on that bench uh, for practically the whole day, and, and there were clouds coming in. It got windy. Um, so we had days like that, and then we also had, um, you know, really, really hot days where we got the lookout point. Uh, you know, everyone was like probably getting sunburned, and um, sunburned. You don't know, quite sunburned. Oh, <laughs> blonde. Yeah, yeah. And then there were other night shoots that, um, were, everything was just all over the place, but it came together really well. And um, in the end, it just felt like we, were, we went to like a, a summer summer camp or a road trip together and now we have like this this little uh, group of
friends, so it's nice to see everyone again. Aww. <laughs> On that note, we should play a little game.